Make sure to join my new Discord server to talk with me, fans and friends. My server holds giveaways weekly as well as game nights where you can have the opportunity to play Roblox with me and be featured in some of my upcoming videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a follow along, slow and in-depth Roblox GFX tutorial, which will be helpful to those who are new to making GFXs. For this tutorial, I'm going to make it super slow and easy so you guys can follow along and it won't be too hard for you. Before we even start doing the GFX, you need to make sure that you have a couple of things downloaded. First of all is the Load Character plugin, which I will leave the link in the description. And you'll also need the Roblox Woman rig or whatever rig you want to use. You will also have to download Blender 2.79 because that's what I'll be using in this video. I do have a full in-depth tutorial on how to download that, so if you need help with that you can go and check that video out, I'll leave it in the description as well. We're going to start by opening up Roblox Studio and click on the classic base plate. If you go over to plugins, you will have your load character plugin which you can click on and then type in whatever username you're using in your GFX. So I'm just going to type Mad Z and spawn it as an R6. Now I'm going to go to model, move, and I'm just going to move it so it's on the ground properly. And then you're going to go over to the right here, click on your character, right click, and then click export selection. You can then save it to your desktop or wherever you want. I've made an OBJs folder, so I'm going to be saving all of my Roblox Studio things in here. Type in the name you want to call it and save. Next, we're going to go over to the models, which on the side, you can search a range of models for anything you want to add in your GFX. I already have a bunch of models saved. I also recently just did a room models video if you want some help finding room models, but we're going to go ahead and pick one that we like and then save it just as we did before. I'm going to pick this flower shop one, so I'm just going to click OK. Check that that's what I want and then go back over to the right, right click on the model and export selection again. I'm going to name it flower shop in my OBJs folder and save. Now we can start on making the GFX. So we're going to start by opening Blender, this is the 2.79 version, and we're going to click File, Open, and then you're going to find where your rig is located, and you're just going to open it. Your rig will probably have a head on it, but I already previously deleted mine and saved it like that, so mine doesn't have the head, but if you do have a head on your rig, you need to go ahead and delete that. You should have this grey body. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down over here, and we're going to click on the little <laughs> dot next to the color option. Click on that. And you're going to click on image texture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to open. Go to your OBJs folder and you want to find your texture for your character. It'll probably be called handle something. So click on all of the handles until you get the one that's for your character. Just like that. So mine was called handle 4, but yours might be handle 1, handle 2, but yeah. Now that we've got that, we're going to go up to file, import, wave front, and it's got obj on the side in brackets. You're going to click that. And now you're going to select your character. This is me importing my Madsy obj. We're going to use this little scale thing to move it around, so using the blue one it's going to rotate it this way. Then we're going to take this little arrow and you can use these to also move it. Also to move around you want to use shift F on your keyboard and then you can use the arrow keys to move around like this. So I'm right clicking while holding shift. And this is going to select more than one body part. You want to delete everything apart from the head. So I'm going to click delete, X and delete. I'm right clicking again while holding shift to select everything. Oops. 
And then once everything has been selected on the head, oh, I'm just going to forget about those hair clips. You're going to go up here on the right hand side and you're going to click join. You're also going to go to set origin, origin to geometry, and this is going to make it perfectly in the middle, ready for you to move around. And then you can just place the head on to the body. And I'm just going to delete those hair clips. Okay, now we've got our full character set up, so we can import the background. So go to File, Import, Wavefront with OBJ in the brackets again, and you're going to click on the flower shop. Now that we've entered our room model, we can start to pose our character into position. So I think I want to put her sitting on this chair over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that you're in pose mode. So if you're in object mode, it's going to select the whole body like this and you can't really move it properly. So you want to go to object mode, make sure you're in pose mode here. Right click on any body parts. I'm going to start with the legs and I'm holding shift while I select them. And then I'm using the tool to just rotate her body like this. So I'm selecting shift while I right click and this is gonna move her ligaments. I think that's cute. Okay, now to move her over to the chair, we're gonna go back to pose mode and select object mode because we wanna move the whole body. Hold shift, select the head, use the arrow tool, and then just move her over this way. Okay, that looks about right to me. Um, now that we're at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and save it because sometimes Blender just randomly quits off stuff and you don't want your work to be lost. So you're going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to call it GFX and then Save As Blender File. I really like this simple pose that I've gone with, so now I can get ready to render my GFX. So now, once you're happy, you can go to Add, Camera, and then you're going to go to View, Camera, and use the Shift F keys on your keyboard to move it around. I'm also using my arrow keys to just position it. My camera is already automatically set to square, but if you want to change the size of it, you can go to the camera icon on the right, scroll down and to resolution, you can change these numbers and it will change size. So mine's a thousand by thousand, which is obviously the square. Um, I'm also going to make this GFX a PNG um, with a transparent background. Because with the grey in the background, I'm going to have that transparent so I can add like a background or a sky image in behind it after. If you go down to the circle and click rendered, you will get a view of what it's going to look like. So just click on that. As you can see, it looks super dark, so we're going to add some lighting. Change it back to material. And then we're going to go to add lamp. And I'm going to add a hemi lamp because it's just basic and I like using it. I do have a lighting video on YouTube if you want to find out about the different lighting types. So you can check that out if you want, but otherwise I suggest just going with the Hemi lamp. Now you can just position this lighting by using the arrows and also by rotating it in the direction you want it to shine. Go view, camera, and on the side here you will see a lighting kind of symbol. And this is where you can change what it looks like. So if you go back to rendered, you can now see that she looks a little bit brighter, but it's not quite what I want still. So here you can adjust the strength as well as the color for like a sunset color or like a pink color, just whatever you feel like. I also like to go to this world icon and click ambient occlusion. This creates this also creates a lighter effect, but I still want the shadows that are realistic, so I'm going to drag the factor down and just have a little bit of the ambient occlusion like that. Go over to this icon next to the camera, I'm not sure what it is, um, but you want to go down and click denoising. This is super important, please do not skip this step because otherwise your GFX will turn out grainy and just overall not looking that good. So now that you're happy with how it looks, you can go back to the camera, 
Scroll up and click render. This will start to render your GFX. Usually for me, it will take around 10 minutes at the most. So just be patient while it renders and see how your GFX turns out. As you can see, my GFX is fully rendered now. So we can now go ahead and save. I'm gonna go to image in the left hand bottom corner and you're gonna click save as image and then save it wherever you want and just name it. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. This is how my GFX turned out. I really hope this video was helpful and it was easy for you to follow along when making a GFX.